Hi everyone, it's Mary. Just doing a little chit chat and seeing how you guys are doing. Uh, I'm doing well. <clears throat> I have been crazy busy again. Uh, it's competition season and my daughter has been competing um, almost every day. <coughs> also, uh, her back is injured right now, so We've also been going to the doctor, the physio, just trying to get her healed. It's, um, she has a sprain in her back and she can still compete as for what the doctor says. Um, and I, like I said to my daughter, like, how can you do it? Because uh, I know when I'm in pain, I, that's it, can't function. But she's got a very high pain tolerance and she tells me that when she's dancing, she doesn't even feel it, it's after. So, um, you know, we're just, um, it's just going to take time, the doctor says, to heal. And um, unfortunately, uh, she would rather dance um, than, you know, stay, like, just not dance at all. So um, the doctor said it's fine, uh, it will heal, but um, it's just going to take time. So um, we're just waiting on that. Well, today, uh, I have nothing in the in the way of the competition to do um, but my week is still going to be crazy because <coughs> Lexi is uh, has her road test tomorrow so we have our fingers crossed and uh, say a little prayer for her um, but I feel like my life is going to change uh, my husband and I uh, we how we divide task or chores is that a lot of times he'll go with my son and do activities with him like soccer because my son's a coach anyways or um, my, my, my husband will take driving out from rowing and things like that. I will do things for my daughter um, where we take her to dance competition, drive her to dance school. Anyways, now that my daughter will be driving on her own, um, as long as she passes obviously, <laughs> I hope she does. Um, I won't have to do that. So I won't have to uh, leave the house at 9.45 to pick her up from dance class. Um, I will be able to just have a bath at 9 and, you know, get ready for bed. <laughs> it's going to be a whole different lifestyle for me. Um, also, I think it will enable me to um, get a lot more stuff done at, at home. Uh, like yesterday, my daughter had said they, they had photos and she had dance competitions. So she had asked me to pick her up at 3.45 because uh, photos would have been done by then. Well, photos did not get done till 4.45. So I was there sitting for an hour and I, there was no point in going back home because I didn't know when she would be coming out. So I could have, an hour I could have, I don't know, folded clothes. <laughs> Anyways, um, <clears throat> because it's been so busy with dance competition, my laundry, again, has taken the back burner. So I've got clean clothes, but they're all piled up in a mountain here, and I have to do a um, marathon of folding clothes today. So that's on the agenda. <clears throat> and then, um, you know, just trying to get the house tidied. Um, I have some good news. My husband and I are friends again. He loves me. <laughs> He's always loved me, but um, yeah, we, we worked it out and uh, he helped me um, get my desk all stable so now I can put things back um, in its proper place. My living room has been um, cleaned out of all the scrapbooking items that were in there. I was even I was even able to uh, vacuum the floor, <clears throat> and as that was happening, I could feel tension relieving off of my shoulders, and it felt so good to have that room cleaned again. But um, I still have about three or four boxes of things I have to go through, and they're in my. I moved them from my living room into my family room. And it's very difficult because there are things in there that I don't want to throw out, but I know I've got to do something with, like 
Um, I did a swap of AT, ATG, no, ATC, ATC cards, artist trading cards, probably about like two years ago. <clears throat> now, I don't use them anymore. I don't, I, they're just in an envelope stored away. And because space is limited in my craft room, because I have a lot of stuff, I feel like I should get rid of it. But my heart is saying, no, you can't get rid, rid of it because people made that for you. You did a swap and people had, you know, took effort and they're beautiful. But I don't even look at them anymore. I, <clears throat> you know, they just stay in the envelope. And is it really um, worth keeping? I don't know. It's hard. If you have a suggestion, let me know because my heart hurts to actually throw it out. But, you know, my mind is saying, you know, you've got to get rid of it because you need to streamline your room so that you love your room. Because when you have so much stuff, things get all, I don't know, it doesn't look nice. My head hurts. I don't enjoy being in the space. So I know if it's causing me stress, I really need to just let it go. And for those of you that have done an ATC um, swap with me, um, I hope you forgive me if I do um, decide to let it go. I, ca I can't even take it to the thrift store for somebody else to enjoy because it's got personal information on it. Like maybe if I was to peel the personal information, then maybe I could take it to the thrift store. Maybe I'll do that. Anyways, um... <clears throat> Uh, so, you know, as I go through the process of getting rid of stuff, I can see how <laughs> I am a, a little bit of a, hoard, or a hoarder. Um, not to the extreme that you see on TV, but it's hard to let go of things. I mean, I have boxes of, you know, the tiny feathers that I used to do when I was altering things and use it for my um, shabby, chic uh, scrapbooking. Well, I haven't used feathers in a couple of years, and I should get rid of it. But I'm like, well, what if I need it? What if I need to find feathers? What if I need feathers? I can't find it. I know where to get feathers. I could always purchase them. I think it's a package of it is a dollar. Why do I need to keep them if I'm not using it? It's really hard to let go. It really is. And I keep on trying to tell myself that, um, you know, I'm giving it to somebody who will enjoy it. So... <laughs> um, I'm not even bothering doing a, um, a garage sale because I just don't have the time. I mean, with my schedule and having to plan it all, it's just not, it's not worth it. It's going to be more stressful for me than it is to take it to the thrift store and give it to somebody else that will enjoy it. So that's the process I'm going through right now. Um, my craft room is taking shape. It's really working well. My daughter has moved her sewing machine um, on the other corner desk and we were working in there together this weekend and that was great. Um, I, I am a bit concerned because I, you know, I said to my daughter, or I actually told my husband, who will tell my daughter, but um, I will tell my daughter too, but I don't want to discourage her from sharing my room because I want her to be in it. But I, it would drive me crazy if she just left all her crap everywhere without cleaning up. So as long as we're both respectful of each other's spaces, I think it'll work well. And I love her being there because it's spending time with me, right? So um, I still have a lot of stuff to do. So I'm not going to share my craft room until it's done. But I think um, you'll like it because I'm really liking the space. It's, it's I mean... It's a bedroom size, so with all my stuff and all my desks and my bookshelves and all my craft supplies, there isn't very much room. So I have to be really smart about what I keep in there and how I store it. And then, I don't know, just uh, today I'm trying to work on menu planning. Um, I haven't been really on top of that just because it's been too crazy. Um, but menu planning is very difficult, especially when you have a lot of birthdays.
happening within that week and events. Um, I know that what I've done in the past is I've always put a specific meal to the day. And I've seen other people that have done, just picked out like seven meals or six meals or five meals, depending on, you know, how many times you eat at home and how many times you eat out. And instead of taking a day to put it on, they just have like, if you have hamburgers, um, ribs, uh, chili, whatever, right? So you've got five meals and um, they plan meals for the week, but they don't plan meals for a specific day. So if all of a sudden on a Tuesday you felt like having hamburgers instead of, you know, whenever that meal, at least you have all the ingredients for that meal and then that meal will be done and then you have basically uh, four meals left. Does that make sense? Basically you plan me like five meals for Monday to Friday, let's just say, but you don't give it a date. You just say, okay, these ingredients are here and these are the meals you can make. And then you choose a meal when you're in the, in the morning when you're ready to, you know, thought, meat or whatever. So I thought I might try that, um, see if that would work for me more than um, assigning a meal for that day. You know, it, it's just, it might be too uh, regimented and I need something a little bit more open and um, flexible. And then, um, you know, just I have to go into the office to do some work, um, but I'm not going to stay there all day because there's so much to do here, and I really need, um, for my sanity, I really need to get this house tidy because um, everywhere I look still, it's, there's crap. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys are gonna, you're having a great week. Um, I'm really excited to get some time to just, you know, finish up some of my projects so I can share with you. I can't wait to share with you um, my uh, scrap room. It's probably going to be another, like a month before I can show it to you because I want it completely done. Um, oh, and I want to show you a little tool that I have that has been helpful this morning. Just give me a second, I'll go grab it. So this morning while um, I was at home, I noticed I had a lot of burnt out light bulbs and um, I have this instrument and I don't know if you guys know what this is, but um, it's on a pole, it's a metal pole and this will um, change light bulbs. So what you, what, what it is, is um, I'm very short and to, I would have to go on a ladder to get to change those light bulbs. And um, I don't know if you guys know, but um, those of you that have been following me for a while now know that um, I fell off a ladder at my store. And it was only a three-step ladder. And what had happened was, while I was going down, I was, um, I was overexcited because I had a customer waiting. And um, I forgot that the ladder was a three-step ladder, instead, and I thought it was a two-step ladder. So um, when I got to the second step I thought it was a ground and there was no ground and I fell with the product in hand and um, I could have really injured myself badly because there was a sh sharp metal door right there and I just missed it so I ended up spraining my knee quite bad and it took me quite a while to heal um, so I'm a bit scared now of going on ladders or at least not scared but I'm more cautious about going on a ladder so this is a handy tool to have because you don't have to go on ladders to change light bulbs what you do is you put your light bulb in here or like let's just say let me shut these lights off okay say I wanted to change that light bulb right there say it was burnt out I take this and I put it and it hides the light bulb and then you just twist it this way and it pops off. You see, you have your, it's hot. So um, you have your light bulb in here, it's nice and secure. And then when you want, you put a new light bulb in and you put it in and you twist it the other way. And once you can't twist anymore, you pull it off and it's done. And what's great about this tool is that it extends very, very long. There's three parts to it. So, um, there's 
loose. You untwist it this way. And then you twist it to whatever length you want. But see, this goes up long, like super long. And then there's another segment. <laughs> I don't wanna. And then, I don't know if you can see, but it's, oops. <laughs> it's very, very long. So you, it'll reach almost, you know, any height. It's a great tool, and I think I got this at Home Depot. Uh, you can get this at a lot of different hardware stores. So um, if you guys have burnt out light bulbs and you don't want to go on ladders, this is the tool to have. It's This is on a spring here, as you see, and then there's so, like rubber here, so that's how it um, holds the light without it like slipping. What a great invention. All right. Well, I am going to get my list done because it is nutty crazy. Like, um, I don't know if you can see, but this is today. And um, yeah, it's, it's uh, <laughs> full. So I better get going, stop talking, and uh, get to work. Have a great week, you guys. We'll talk to you real soon. Uh, I'm trying to finish up my Mombi uh, video. Uh, I'm halfway done. There's a lot of cards to review and a lot of packages, so it's taking a while. But uh, stay tuned for that, and take care. Bye.